Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So the Benchmade Grizzly Ridge, new model for 2018 that um, just hit dealers not too long ago. Here is the model number for those that are interested. But um, one of their newer kind of hunt series line, they have several different lines, but you know the purpose of this line as noted here is outdoor and hunting. And so we'll take a look at it, specs, overall impressions and details. I've been carrying it for a couple of days and um, yeah, so let's get into it. Start off with a few different size comparisons here. So another new model for 2018 from Benchmade is the Benchmade uh, Mini Crooked River. This is a model that um, I think a lot of you guys are really excited for. Um, different but similar. We'll I'll have a video on this one later. All right, the Benchmade Anthem. This was a 2017 release. Slightly larger. Spartaco Para, the um, Sabenza Large 21, Chris Reeve, and then last but not least, let's pull out just for giggles a Victorinox Cadet here. So, yeah, so those are the size comparisons as far as specs go. Blade length of 3.5 inches, handle length of about 4.3, overall looking at about 7.8, give or take. The blade um, the blade width is about 1 inch, handle width in the uh, closed position is about 1.25 inches, handle thickness 0 0.58. It does use a, um, a hardened grivery here for the inserts, you know, and there's quite a few different inserts throughout. Pivot collars, uh, collar around the axis lock, around the pocket clip screws, and then the center of the handle here. Um, anodized aluminum thumb, thumb stud and backspacers, all orange, so nice cohesive look. S30V blade steel, and of course it does use the axis lock. Steel liners, and then the material on top is called VersaFlex. It's a uh, dual durometer type of material. So it's it's hard but rubbery, so it provides a lot of grip, even when wet. And I got my hand wet and gripped it just for giggles, and it seemed to work pretty well. Um, if you're processing a deer or something, I mean, I don't know how that would work. You guys can tell me if you, when and if you do it with a folding knife. So, all right, I think those are the specs for the most part. Um, let me see if I'm missing anything. Oh, it does weigh in at 3.77 ounces, so. Um, for the size and the way it feels in the hand, that's actually fairly light, sub four ounces there. So, um, Fossil Bronze washers, as most of the Axis locks run on. And I think that is it for the specs. So, overall impressions, um, to be honest, I am supremely surprised with this knife. Um, it's, it's very comfortable in the hand. It has incredible action. Um, this is the, the best Axis lock that I've ever felt, aside from, you know, the one that's significantly more expensive that runs on bearings in the uh, Anthem here. But um, amazing ergonomics. This one came perfectly sharp, perfectly centered, um, killer action. A lot of nice details that aren't necessary but I appreciate and uh, very useful blade shape. So um, anyways I'm I'm actually really really impressed with it. The only th I mean the only knock I can give it is that it's a pro and a con. It's that this, um, you know, what is it? The VersaFlex material is super grippy, so you get a really good grip in the hand, but in and out of the pocket a lot. Um, it does grab at your pocket, but I mean, if if it's gonna stay put in your hand, it's gonna stay put in your pocket. So, you know, I thought I'd mention it, but it's really not a big deal. So, anyways, um, yeah, just really, really well done. I'm really impressed with this knife. I really like it. And at a hundred and you know twenty five bucks essentially, it's like one twenty three ninety something something, hundred and twenty five bucks. I think it represents a lot of value, especially with uh, Benchmade's uh, warranty service, their Life Sharp service. So you can send it in, you get it resharpened, um, or if you have a problem with it, you can call someone really good customer service and get it serviced. So um, you know this is a knife that'll definitely last years and years and years. Um, with great warranty support behind it. So for 125 bucks, um, honestly, I think it's a, a hell of a bargain. Um, you know, the, the other knives that I like in kind of the $100 range, you're, you know, going with D2 instead of S30V uh, blade steel. So 
anyways, yeah, really impressed. Um, certainly like it way more than I thought it would. It's way better than I thought it would be. And um, yeah, just a lot of bang for the buck. So let's go through it in a bit more detail. Those of you guys who just need to hear that, you are all set. Um, but again, S30V blade steel. Um, S30V, you know, again, it was developed specifically for folding knives. Um, it's a good steel. Some people f prefer S30V, some people prefer S35VN, which was kind of the second generation of this steel. But for all intents and purposes, S30V is a great steel um, for, you know, a knife that you carry and use daily or in theory could use hunting if, if you wanted to use a folding knife for that. So let's take a look at it. The um, symmetry on the grind is pretty good. Um, there's a slight difference, you know, in the secondary bevels. We come towards the tip on this side, but this side it is absolutely perfect. So close enough. Um, I'm not going to really fault it for a little bit of difference there. This one came um, shaving sharp. Uh, the edge is just screaming sharp, so really well done. Obviously, we have our very distinguishable Benchmade logo. Got the thumb studs. They provide plenty of traction. Um, this one is a designated prototype. You know, the first, I don't know, a thousand might say like first run. Um, you know, again, I don't really care if that's on there. I prefer if it wasn't, nice and clean look, but not a big deal either way. And then the Benchmade patent reference. Um, I think that's to the access lock. Um, utility patents are 20 years. It ran out this year, but I don't know. You guys can look that up if you're really interested. I highly doubt any of you will. So, um, yeah. Now, the jimping up top is really well done. Nice and grippy. And then there's another run here towards the tip. Now, I have extra large hands, and even in my large hands, it's too far out for me. So this has to be specifically for two-hand push cuts. If I had to guess, um, it's perfectly, you know, it's perfectly positioned for something like that, and it's really grippy here on the front. So, um, out of all the knives that I own, this would probably be the only one where I'd be brave enough to attempt a two-handed push cut um, because it has been, you know, developed for that purpose. So, yeah. All right, handles. Again, this this VersaFlex material. Um, really grippy. Um, it's it's kind of a I don't know. It's so if you guys have um, covers on your cell phones, let me grab mine real. No, where the hell's my cell phone? It's on the floor. All right. So if you guys have like covers on your cell phones that are like hard but kind of grippy, that's I mean that's the only thing I can kind of equate it to. But it's got more texture on it, so um, it has a little bit more grip than you know that. But that's how it kind of feels. It feels like. Um, can't remember the name of the material for cell phones, but some sort of, you know, polyurethane type of cover. But it works well, again, in the hand. Um, provides a lot of grip, a lot of confidence, but then just pulling it in and out of your pocket a lot. You know, it may catch a little bit, not enough to where you can't pull it out of your pocket, but, you know, that's something to keep in mind. One other thing that's kind of interesting here is if you look at the axis lock on, on this one, it has been recessed almost like if we look at here at the mini crooked river you guys can see how the i don't know what they call that the bar here on the axis lock or the thumb they're not thumb studs but you guys get what i'm saying here these thumb studs sit a bit more proud here on the mini crooked river than they do here on the uh grizzly ridge and uh even on the the anthem the integral here they also sit a bit more proud than they do on this one. So I don't really know what the, the reason for that was. Um, in gloves, this would be hard to access because the gloves would, would probably grip on to the VersaFlex here. But without gloves, you know, totally doable. So anyways, look at the action though. I mean, this thing is just so smooth. Um, lock up. Is, is rock solid on this one. Centering is perfect. And a lot of times when you have an access lock, you kind of have to choose, you know, do I want it to have, um, do I want it to free fall and have a nicer action or do I want it to lock up more solid? And the two are typically at odds, so I don't know what they did on this one, but um, it is, I mean, this is the best access lock <clears throat> that doesn't run on bearings that I've ever felt. I mean, this one on bearings is Obviously, really, really nice, but this is the next best one I've ever felt, so. 
yeah, um, I don't know, kudos to whoever assembled this one. It's, it's, it's flawless, so really impressed. All right, so let's go back to it. We've got the, uh, the various collars here all around the handles. Um, this can go tip up left and right hand carry. Um, you do have a lanyard hole on the back, which is part of the exposed st stainless steel liner. Um, pocket clip, usual Benchmade pocket clip. You know, it works really well. It's a very, very functional clip. Some of you guys love it. Some of you guys hate it. I personally really like it. Um, I like the three screw contact point because when I pull knives out of my pocket, I always pull like this. I don't know why. It's just what I do. And so those three uh, screw heads are, offer a ton of traction, which I really like. And then it, you know, complements this side. One other thing that they did well is this um, orange insert here aligns where the pocket clip sits. If the pocket clip sat on this VersaFlex and it was pushing down, um, that would be really hard to get out of the pocket, honestly. So the fact that they have this insert here, which I'm guessing, obviously visual appeal, but you know, so you don't have too much grip when you're going in and out of the pocket was a, was a good move. So yeah, left and right hand tip up carry only. But I think, I mean, I think that's pretty much it with this one. I mean, again, from ergonomics, extra large hands, just so comfortable, so controlled. Um, you know, there is a slight recurve on the blade. Again, if you guys don't like to sharpen recurves, um, you know, they've got the the life, the lifetime sharpening service, the life sharp, whatever they call it. So you can always send it in and just have Benchmade do it if you really, you know, dislike sharpening uh, recurves. But yeah. Anyways, really well done, really impressed with it. I think the thing that I like the most is, is just the way that it feels in the hand. Um, just so comfortable and it's the perfect size. Um, perfect jimping, this one has perfect action. So yeah, I think this one's gonna be a home run. Um, as a whole, Benchmade, their brand recognition is absolutely insane. Um, you know, I, on, on Instagram, I'll post pictures of thousand dollar knives and uh, you know, it'll get likes, but when I post Benchmade stuff, man, people just go nuts. Um, uh, people just know the Benchmade logo. They know Benchmade knives. They may not know a lot about knives, but they know that Benchmade, you know, is the best knife they can get at their local gun shop. So it's it's just interesting to see the response to, you know, like this $125 knife versus some of the really expensive stuff that I shared, you know, either on my channel or on Instagram or something. So anyways, kind of a random aside, but at 125 bucks, really good value. Um, the closer Benchmade gets to 100 bucks, the better it's going to sell. Uh, because again, the people who come in contact with the brand as a whole, for most people who buy Benchmades, you know, they spend 100 bucks on a knife and they're just like, man, that was crazy expensive, but I got a really good knife. So yeah, I think this one will really sell. I think it has a lot of appeal to um, enthusiasts potentially, as well as like, you know, hunters, gun enthusiasts, people who don't really know knives. Um, this one's going to sell really well for them. It's, it's going to do really well. So anyways, um, I'm rambling at this point. Let's cut it off there. But comments or questions, let me know. Um, definitely curious for those of you who pick one up to hear what you think about it. But, um, you know, a home run. Um, I like it as much as I've liked my, uh, my mini grips or my full size grips in the past. So um, well done. It looks great. Functions great. Great price. Great warranty. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at this video. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.